Hello again, welcome to step number six of the Cheat Engine tutorial. This is the point where people usually start to get confused because pointers, they're a little more tricky than just searching for normal values, as you'll see once we start actually working on it. Uh, so when you hit change pointer here, well, let's start for searching for a value and I'll explain as we go. So again, we know we have 100 whatever. Now we have 324. Three, two, four. Next scan. Looks like that's it. So the goal here is to make it so when we hit change pointer, we can still modify that value without having to research for the address. So every time we hit this, you can see our value changes in Cheat Engine. As soon as you hit change pointer, though, that value doesn't change even though our health changed. We can change our health as many times as we want, and this value stays the same. So this this here is useless to us now. We can delete it. Just hit the delete key or you can right click hit delete. So let's start a new scan. We need to search for 907. First scan, 435. That one's now 435, so we know that's it. Now with this one here, we need to find the a path to this value that won't change upon like game restarts or map reloads for a more realistic example. So you right click on it and search for what writes this address, change the value. And again, it just moves whatever the random number from EAX moves it into the value at the address EDX. So if you look in here, you can see EDX has that value there. Or if you double click on it to show more information, It'll actually tell you right there that we're probably looking for that value, but you can't copy and paste anything from here. So we'll go down to our EDX. We want to copy that address, and that's that address there too, the address of our our variable that we'll assume is health for this example. And what you want to do here is you want to start a new scan. You want to search for hex and paste that address in, which is again that address, in this example. So you hit first scan, here's a bunch of stuff that point to it. This one here points to it and we can assume that this is what they're looking for because in here, I believe it says it is a single layer pointer. In future games we, or yeah, in most games you won't know that, it won't, tell you how many layers your pointer is but for this here I know it's this one those have already changed so it's obviously not those three but we'll double click on this one we can actually copy that address just double click on it copy this whole thing here Oops. we have to copy it copy it pointer you just paste that in and then we have an offset of zero because when we went through this there was no plus something so in the future videos you'll see but sometimes it'll move edx plus uh, 04 and it'll move eax into that for this here it, there's no plus anything so we leave our offset to zero so this is our pointer it's this value is green meaning it's static upon every restart of the game so Sorry, this is a hex value here. I don't know why it's a hex value. I don't think that's changeable, but it shows the actual value up here. So for this challenge here, we need to change the value to 5,000. And again, because this is hex here, I'm just gonna change the actual value. But if you only had this hex and, like me, don't know how to change it offhand, you can quickly type in not hex 5000, and then just hit the hex button. And then we know it's 1388, which you can now see is 1388 there. And we want to hit active. And what this does is it'll, in quotes, it'll freeze the value. But what it really does is Cheat Engine just writes to this address a ton of times over and over really fast that that value is supposed to be 1388 or decimal 5000. 
So every time we hit this, you can see it changes itself back. And this time when we hit change pointer, and wait a second, this one here is still 5,000. If we unfreeze it, you can see that one is still changing with our value. And just if you want to double check that that's the right value, you can search 36D and exit 877, just like 877 there. And that's it for these single layer pointers.